Hi, this is Mark Willis, meteorologist in charge of the National Weather Service in Wilmington, North Carolina. Something our marine customers have asked us for for a long time is to add wave detail to our marine forecast. Well, we've listened to you and we're now ready to get your feedback on a new experimental version of our coastal waters forecast that has enhanced wave detail in it. Before we go into the specifics of this project and what we're doing with our new coastal waters forecast that we're experimenting with, it's important to remember that waves have three very fundamental characteristics. Each wave has a wave height, a period, and a direction. Wave height and period are pretty basic. Um, wave height is basically how tall the wave is from uh, trough to crest. A wave direction refers to what direction the waves are coming from. And wave period at a high level is how long it takes for successive waves to pass a fixed point such as a buoy. However, wave period is a little more complicated as it's related to a number of other parameters such as wave speed, how fast it's moving, how energetic it is, and also how deep it extends into the ocean. And also, wave period can tell us information about what kind of breaking waves they can produce as they reach a beach or an inlet. Another reason we're looking at wave detail is because of the fact that it's very common to have multiple coexisting wave systems passing through any point or region in the ocean, and they can all have different wave heights, periods, and directions. And we don't provide that information, we may not be giving some mariners what they need, at least based on the feedback we've received over the last several years at the National Weather Service in Wilmington. Right now, we're only providing significant wave height, which is the average of the highest one-third of waves at a particular point or region in the ocean. That information is extremely valuable, but it does not tell us when there's multiple waves passing through each other in a particular point in the ocean or vital information such as period and direction. So this graphic is just an illustration of actually what's a pretty common occurrence in the ocean. Imagine the arrows in this graphic are different wave groups that are impacting this sailboat at the exact same time. The various different groups at this time are likely producing pretty rough conditions for this boat because you got waves coming at you at all different directions. Our project strives to break this information down so mariners know exactly what to expect before they venture out on the water. One common thing, for example, that happens here and off the waters of Southeast North Carolina and Northeast South Carolina, in the fall, we may have a cold front that generates very short period waves out of the North or Northeast, uh, while at the same time, we may have an underlying longer period swell out of the Southeast from a distant tropical system such as a hurricane. We've learned over the years that different mariners and users of our products care about different things. So we want to provide the detail so folks know what they're getting into before they venture out onto the ocean. For example, smaller boats may be interested in very short period waves because they're rough and steep uh, and very choppy, but other customers may be interested in longer period waves because it generates shoaling hazards near the coast and around inlets. Some mariners may care about all of the above the point is, our current method of only providing significant wave height removes that important detail, in particular when there is more than one wave group present and their height, period, and directions. So our proposal is to take our current marine forecast that just provides significant wave height as shown in the red text here and then supplement it with wave detail with up to two wave groups that may be occurring simultaneously at any point in the ocean. If there's only one main wave group present, we'll just include one. So if you look at the green text, which is our proposed version of our coastal waters forecast, you can see that the significant wave height, which is described as seas five to seven feet, is then supplemented with the wave detail that is making up that significant wave height. In this case, we have a short period northeast wave along with longer period southeast swells, which again is a fairly common occurrence in the fall. And so in the upcoming summer, you're bound to see a lot of times when we have both short period south to south-southwest wave events uh, associated with the local winds, along with slightly longer period southeast swell associated with the offshore Bermuda High. And again, you can't get that information by just looking at the significant wave height alone. The website shown here is where you can view our proposed experimental version of our coastal waters forecast with wave detail side by side with our legacy version. We're seeking feedback for this over the next several months, so please know, let us know what you think, what may work well, and what we can do better at. And again, thanks for listening, and we hope everyone has a safe and prosperous upcoming boating season.